Hello, my name is Ricardo Martinez from the Server Virtualization Team at Cisco Tech. In this video, I will explain how to configure the BNIC fine tuning options via Intersite Manage Mode through the server profiles. It is recommended to have the desired operating system settings for Ethernet adapters, the operational, compute, storage, and management policies configured beforehand. All the devices used in this video started with a cleared or default configuration. If you are in a productive environment, ensure that you understand the potential impact of any command. Step 1. Identify the BIC adapter and the slot ID on the server. Navigate to the Servers tab, then select Inventory, and then select the Network Adapters option. Once inside the Adapters options, take note of the Adapter ID and PCI slot, in this example, slot 0, MLOM. Step 2. Navigate to Policies, select Create Policy, and then select Ethernet Adapter. Once within the Create Policy menu, provide a policy name. Configure the suggested settings by the OS vendor. Enable Receive Side Scaling or Accelerated Receive Flow Steering. Keep in mind, these features are mutually exclusive so configure only one at a time. Step 3. Create LAN connectivity policy. Navigate to the Policies tab, Create Policy, select LAN connectivity. Provide the policy name. On your target platform, select UCS Server FI Attached for Blade Servers. Select Add VNIC and provide the name ETH0. Under the MAC address section, select the appropriate MAC address pool. On placement, select Advanced and configure the slot ID as MLOM. Leave the PCI link and PCI order options with value 0 and switch ID with option A. Configure all the appropriate policies. Under Ethernet adapter, select the policy we have created on step 2 and click Add. Repeat the same steps to create the interface ETH1 and configure the PCI link, PCI order, and switch ID values accordingly. Finally, create the LAN connectivity policy. Step 4. Create the server profile. Navigate to Profiles and then select Create UCS Server Profile. Click Start and provide the server profile name. Under Target Platform, select UCS Server FI Attached for Blade Servers. Next, select the target server and then click Next. Select all the related configurations, such as Compute Configuration, Management Configuration, and Storage Configuration. Under the Network Configuration, select the LAN connectivity policy we have created on Step 3. Finally, select Deploy to configure the server profile and validate all the steps are completed successfully. You can verify the workflow progress on the Requests menu. It 
it may take some minutes for the server profile to be associated with the Blade server. Step 5. Validate. To validate the adapter settings have been applied, select the configured server and open a KVM session. In this example, we can see the receive and transmit queues are 8. Also, the completion queues and interrupts are 16 and 18 accordingly. Finally, the ring size for each interface is 4096. As a final example, connect directly to the Fabric Interconnect via SSH and then connect to the adapter. On the login, type dbgsh and hit enter. Then type attach hyphen mcp and hit enter. Finally, type vnic l and hit enter. Look for the corresponding vnic name, eth0 and eth1 and validate the settings. In this example, we can see again the receive and transmit queues are 8. The completion queues and interrupts are 16 and 18 accordingly. Thank you for watching.